Hallie, Callie, she you won't pick up her phone. And I know it's three in the morning and she's eight and she's asleep. So it's probably good that she's not answering, but I just need to know that she's okay. Cause she wasn't okay in the dream I just had. She was dead. I don't know what I'd do without her. She's my little sister and the only good thing I have left in my life. The only good thing. And I know it's selfish but I need her. I can't, can't lose her. Which is why I just need her to answer the phone. My school counselor says I shouldn't keep stuff like this bottled up or whatever. I guess that's why I turned this stupid thing on in the first place. We were, we were at our old house, but it was after mom. So it was just me and Callie. She was the age she is now, not a baby like she would have been. It was smoky and it was dark and Callie let go of my hand. I couldn't find her. I couldn't, I couldn't find her. I looked everywhere. And I went outside I saw her laying on the ground. First, I thought she was stargazing. It's one of her favorite things to do. She loves stargazing. But no, she was dead. And I couldn't do anything to help her. She was dead. And I woke up. Her eyes. Normally she's such a happy kid, but those eyes, they were lifeless and cold. And I just need her to answer the phone so I can hear her voice and know that she's okay. But I guess I'll have to wait till morning. Ugh. I'm so sick of these nightmares. I can't even get to sleep because of them. <laughs>